So anti-slice, we see it lots, I see it lots when I'm coaching, but it's a two-part process. So how I normally get my students trying to sort this out is step one, getting the ball going straight left, okay? So even if your path, which is what causes the slice, is out to in, I want you to start releasing it still, so you just hit them straight, straight left like that, okay? So you're gonna feel like you're turning the toe of the club down into impact. So you're gonna hit a lot of pulls left. That's step one. This is a winter project. Step two then is sorting out the path. I find that if I try and sort out the path with a face that's open still, you'll just hit them off the planet right. So step one, close the face. Step two, you're then gonna start with the closed face, learning how to get the club coming more down onto your hands. So you can do the wall drill, you can step your right foot back lots, anything to feel that club dropping more behind you on the way down. And then when you pair that with the release, then hopefully hit a few more neutral shots, even a little draw.